Hi, this is Chris Terrell. We're going to be doing a for loop. I'm going to show you how to do a VBA uh, for loop in Excel. Here's my little table. All I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this column right here, and we're going to be taking it over here. Uh, we're going to be doing that by a for loop. We're going to go to the back end here. Do that by Alt F11. I'm going to add the module. We're going to call it this sub for loop. 64 next would be the appropriate. And fours loops are really cool. Four, we're gonna we're gonna four, and you determine a variable right there. We set that variable equal to one, and then we determine how how far that's gonna go. In this case, we want to see how big our table is, uh, just for this case. So we actually go from one to ten, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna go for one one to ten. We're going to go next, and then we're going to go cells RW comma six, which is which would be column, which is row, whatever our variable is, column six. I believe that's E um, is equal to cells RW comma one. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to walk through this. We're going to go through once. We'll actually go through twice. I'm just hitting F8. That walks you right through that. Let's go and see what's happening on our spreadsheet over here. Notice that it's populating that right there. I'm going to go back. I'm going to run the whole thing. And I'm going to hit F5 uh, or hit play. And if we go back here, notice that it, notice that it populates that all in. Um, the difference <clears throat> on the last video that I did on the do loop, if I deleted one of these, the way that we wrote the do loop, it would actually stop. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I'm going to run this macro, and it's going to show you that it auto-populates those anyway. Um, that's a quick little video on how to do a how to do a for loop, kind of the very, very basics. We're going to add a couple steps in the next couple videos. I uh, hope you enjoy.